Alrighty, welcome to the next video. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to import the Funnel X shared funnel from my account to your account. And then we're going to import our email follow up series. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you'll log in to your ClickFunnels account. Once you're logged in to your ClickFunnels account in another window, then I want you to come back to this video and I want you to click the link below this video. And that link is going to look just like this. This is a share funnel link. Once you click this link, it will import my funnel into your account and there will be a little progress bar. It's a little green progress bar. Once that reaches the end, it'll then say view funnel. And when you select view funnel, it will take you exactly where we were before. It's going to take you to this page. Okay. Once you have that funnel imported, what we want to do is number one, we want to recognize the links that are at the top of each video. Okay. So this first opt-in, we've got a link right here. The second, you know, this, this video, we have a link right here, so on and so forth. What we want to do is we want to take this email follow up series and when we import these emails into our autoresponder, you're going to want to remove this link, each of these links in each of the emails. Why? Well, these are my links. You want to make sure that all cells are tracked back to you and not me. So what I've done is I've given you access to my Funnel X email swipes, which are going to also be below this video. You'll click a link. It'll take you right to this Google Docs uh, page right here. And it'll say email one. And then the second line right here will always be the subject of your email. Okay. In other words, this will be the headline that people first see when they check their email inbox. And when they click that email, then they will see obviously the rest of the copy right here. So in the subject line, we want to enter this in. And in the body, we want to copy and paste this in there. Okay. And then what we can also do, instead of just having Josh right here, you could put Josh and your name. So in this case, it'd be Josh and uh, Sue, if your name's Sue, right? And so it'll show that we're kind of partnered together. So there's not a disconnect when people come through your funnel. Okay. So we want to make sure we get these imported. We change out the link. So for example, this is email one. And then this right here is going to be video one. Okay. Right below the opt-in. So you'll click here and then you'll take this and you'll copy it. Now it's kind of an ugly link right now. And so what we can do is we can actually click the funnel step settings button right here and then we can change the path so if we wanted to change it to like funnel x case study you can see right here like funnel x case study one then we can change it to that and then we would update funnel step okay in my case i already have this path so i don't want to duplicate that so i'm just going to put another one here for tutorial purposes and you're going to be able to see that link right here. So what you could do is you could take this link, you can copy it and then you would paste it right here. Of course, this is after you took the email and you've copied it and pasted it into your follow up, uh, autoresponder. Okay. So you might be using get response. You might be using Aweber. You might be using Kartra. What I want you to do is once again, I want you to go to Google because I know a lot of you guys, you've been around the block a few times, you've joined different systems, you've joined you know, a system that promoted uh, Aweber and then another system that promoted GetResponse and then another system that promoted Kartra. And so what you're just gonna do is you're going to type in, so if it's Aweber, how to create follow-up email series in Aweber. Okay. And then how to create a follow up email series in GetResponse, in Kartra. And what you could do is you can navigate in each of the back offices of these, you know, autoresponder platforms. And there's usually a help section 
that will show you how to import you know, emails into the autoresponder. So what we wanna do is we wanna take all these emails that we have here day by day. I think I've got, let's see how many days worth I have. I have a total of, let's see, about nine emails and I'll be adding more here. And I'll notify you guys when I do add follow-ups. So we have nine, so we can add up to nine here. So we wanna make sure we switch out these links with the links of each of these videos. So this would be video two, email two, we'd change this link here. And then we got email three, video three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and I think this might be an extra one that I've got here for an for a email I have yet to import. Yeah, which is this video here. So I'll be putting that in a little bit later. So you wanna to complete to right here and just follow exactly what I outlined to you. And then to connect your autoresponder, after you've done that, now we need to connect the autoresponder so it communicates with the landing page right here. Now, there's a few ways to do this. One way is to simply do it through integrations, which we've pretty much already have done. If in the last video, I believe it was the last video, you connected your autoresponder, your API, so it communicated with ClickFunnels. Once you do that, you just click on integrations up here. Once you edit the page, right? So we clicked edit page right here. We got to this page, and then we're gonna select the integration. And if we've, integrated it um, through the API, you're gonna be able to see your autoresponder here. And so in this case, we're gonna select get response. And then we're gonna go to action and we're gonna select add the campaign. And then we're gonna select a list, okay? Now, assuming that you've created your first email autoresponder series, right? You went here you type this in, how to create a follow-up email series in ConvertKit, AWeber, GetResponse, whatever you're using, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna create a new list and then you're gonna create a follow-up series for that specific list. And what's gonna happen once you do that, and we jump back over here, what we're gonna do is we're going to select that list from the drop down menu. So in this case, I don't have a specific list in Get Response, okay? Because I canceled my Get Response account. So what you're gonna do is, since you've already integrated your autoresponder, I'm assuming that you have and you followed the last video, what you'll select is Refresh List from API. And then when you select the drop down, you should be able to see your list appear. Right? So you have to have a list to create a follow-up series. To create a follow-up series, once again, and I know I'm repeating myself, you wanna make sure you go to Google and type in how to create email follow-up series in whatever autoresponder you have. Once you do that and you simply select your list from the drop-down menu, you select save right here, you're good to go, it's now connected. The only thing that you need to do now is you need to delete this Josh Elder right here and enter your name. So whatever your website is. If you have a website, if you don't have a website, you can just leave copyright 2018. And then of course, at some point, you're gonna want a privacy policy, terms and conditions, and earnings uh, disclaimer. And if you followed my automation segment of this. This is where I show you how to do all this stuff. So it's gonna be in a separate module here in the membership site. Uh, what I'll do is I will link a link down in the description that will lead you directly to that. So you can make sure that you get your privacy policy, terms and conditions, earnings disclaimer set up. Now this isn't a must have if you're using, like if you're running solo ads. This specific funnel that I'm giving to you I've used for free traffic for YouTube. So it's gonna work best if you're leveraging free traffic from YouTube, okay? If you're using this funnel and you're sending it out as a solo ad, you know, that's great and everything, but I haven't tested it out with a solo ad quite yet. 
Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind that each funnel is going to work differently with each traffic source. So I found this funnel to work extremely well with, um, of course, YouTube traffic. So once you get this set up, right, and you save, we're going to go ahead and leave here. We're going to need to create what's called a bridge video. Okay, and I'm actually gonna show you exactly how to do that in the next video. Because what we wanna do is we're gonna, want, we're gonna wanna bridge the relationship between you and your subscribers and myself. So if you just send people straight to a funnel that's sent straight to me, how are you gonna build a relationship with these people? Because you're gonna be the difference maker when it comes to you know converting your leads to sales. Yeah, I can do it to a certain point, but at some point when everybody has access to my funnel, a lot of people, the market does begin to get, become a little bit saturated. And so what you wanna do is you wanna use an automated system that may be out there a lot of people have, but you wanna add your personal touch to it, which means you wanna add your brand or you wanna add your face onto it you know, at some point. So make sure that you complete the steps up to this point. Make sure that you import this funnel. Make sure that you switch out the links in the autoresponder. Make sure that you create your follow-up series. And what we'll be doing in the next video is we will create our bridge page, our bridge video, and then we'll make sure that we change out the links within our landing pages here that we're sending people to. So it's you know, your link right here instead of my link, okay? So I hope you got value from this video and complete all the steps as I outline them in this video. The biggest challenge that you're gonna have is obviously adding all these follow-ups to your autoresponder. Guys, this is about being resourceful. I know I've said this, but you need to be resourceful when it comes to this because platforms will change. I could show you guys exactly where to click, how to set up your autoresponder in Aweber or get response. But what happens is these platforms constantly change, right? The websites change, the way everything's integrated changes. And so I'd have to you know, keep on creating brand new videos. And you guys don't wanna depend on me either. Like, if, you know, God forbid, if something was to happen to me, you wanna be able to go out there and you know, stand on your own two feet, be completely independent in your business and learn how to be resourceful. And if you don't know how to do something, figure it out on your own. And that's what's led to my you know, success. So with that being said, make sure you complete the steps in this video and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.